Mocha family, I know you guys were thinking she is coming up here to make another video wearing another one of those visors. And I'm sorry, you guys. This is just how I survive. Most of the time I wear my hair in a wash and go. Why do we call it that? <laughs> that is like the least appropriate name for that style that I can think of. Wash and go. You do not wash and go. It takes me so much time to work that gel through, separate the curls, coil this area, coil that. But this video is not about me. I am so excited because two weeks ago, my 19 year old son, who's home for the summer from college, he's about to go back. He came and asked me to start a set of locks for him, you guys. So you have started your lock journey. What made you want to lock your hair? I don't know. I wanted to lock it for a long time. How long ago did you want to lock it? Oh, uh, like two years ago. So my first hair growing it up. That's what I wanted to do at the end. Who's your biggest lock inspiration? You. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. What I did, as you can see from the pictures, I put in a set of twists for him. For me, I, I put in tiny braids and allowed those to lock over time because I had a situation where I was constantly washing my hair and the I tried to start them with twists initially, but the twists got really fuzzy and having not locked my hair before, I was kind of nervous about what was going on. In actuality, I think when I start my next set of locks, I may try to start them with twists again. I think now that I know what I'm looking for, I think that it was developing fine. I think I panicked unnecessarily the first time, but I think the hair will lock faster in twists and that's what I would want my next time around. So for my son, I just put in a set of twists for him and you guys, the entire time I was working on his hair, I was so, for lack of a better word, jealous. <laughs> Why does this dude have this thick, strong hair? Like each of his strands are so thick and they're packed so tightly on his scalp. I mean, if he was a woman, I mean, oh, the styles he could do. And to make matters worse, you know, he's been blowing out his high top to make it even taller and dude has no heat damage. And I bought him heat protectant, but your guess is as good as mine, how much time he spends in his dorm room making sure he uses heat protectant before he blows out his hair. I just don't think that was happening a lot, but somehow his hair is so strong that it's extremely healthy. So as much as I griped, and he'll, he would tell you, as much as I gripe, why do you have this hair dude? While I was doing his hair, it was an absolute pleasure. The thing that I was most concerned about is the fact that he is going back on campus and I won't have access to his hair as it's developing. And he had a lot of questions and I wasn't sure how to answer his questions until I remember, wait, I have the daddy of all lock manuals right in my bookshelf. This book right here, it's called The Naughty Truth and it's written by Michelle George. And if I can find a link for it still on Amazon, I will link it in the description box below. I also did a book review for this way back in the day, Michelle George sent me a book for free to review on my channel way back in the day. She's been a long time subscriber to my channel, very supportive. She had gorgeous locks. She started her locks with braid locks and documented the process. And at the time that I was locking my hair, it was one of the few uh, testimonies that I could follow to figure out what I was doing. And she has somewhat of a science background. And so this book gets really technical about the process, the locking process and all that is happening to your hair scientifically and physically, as well as having lots of photographs and step-by-step -step advice on what kind of products to use and you know how to's how to retwist and you know it's just really fabulous I mean look at how thick it is 
I mean, everything you want to know, everything you could think of knowing about locks, how to how to combine your locks, how to split your locks, you know, myths about locks, recipes. I mean, it's all in here, you guys, and it's extremely well written. I love this book. So shout out to you. I think her YouTube name is Ch Ch Chelsky 81 or 88 or I'll, I'll put the correction in the video, but love you and so glad I still have your book. This is going back to college with my son. So that's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to like my video if you enjoy this content. Share my video, get the word out there to people who are trying to do all the things we talk about on this channel.